I come to you in the name of the Lord. Whoever you are and wherever you may be, know that I love you and God loves you, and that you are not alone, even if you feel unworthy. He has a will for you today. I pray that you hear him. It's a good time to follow Jesus. There's mercy and grace for you today. We only have a few days on this earth. Let us enjoy them. Now let's take a breath in. And a breath out. <sighs> to the word of God we go. Psalm number 127. A song of degrees for Solomon. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh, but in vain. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrows, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. The word of God. Amen. This is encouragement along the way. I pray that you have been encouraged by the holy reading of his word. Let's talk about it a little bit. <clears throat> uh, apparently this uh, doggy over here, being overcome by the spirit, <laughs> speaking in tongues. <laughs> Lol. All right. Uh, I really like this psalm. Uh, if you can see right here, I've got it circled. Anyway, um, let's just go through each verse. There's only five of them. Except the Lord build the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keep the city, the watchman waketh but in vain. There's another verse in Proverbs, which I love. Uh, I've talked about it before. It says, uh, the horse can be made ready for battle, but victory comes from the Lord. Um, we, we control so little um, in this life. Uh, there's things that we try to control, and there's things that we do have a little bit of control over. But... I wonder how big the illusion truly is. And I'm, we can't control when we're born. We don't know how many breaths we're going to take. Um, our body is just hopefully just breathing in and out. Uh, our blood flowing, our hearts. There's so much we don't control that the Lord is just by His grace allowing to happen. Nature by His grace, allowing to happen. In John 15, verse 5, it says, Ye are the vine, and we are the branches. If the branch is cut off from the vine, and ye from me, ye can do nothing. These are the words of Jesus. If you are cut off from Jesus, you can do nothing. Even if you're quote-unquote doing stuff in this world uh, is it going to last I, I believe there's another part of the scriptures where it says only that which is done for Christ will last and so once again except the Lord build the house they labor in vain that build it except the Lord keep the city the watchman waketh but in vain where is your heart what is your motive are you serving God because you love him or are you serving God because you want stuff you want things very very important questions only the lord will bring the victory there is victory in the name of jesus moving on verse number two uh it is vain for you to rise up early to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrows for so he giveth his beloved sleep <laughs> Oh boy, we're getting into Ecclesiastes pretty soon. And man, I am so excited. One of my favorite books. And talk about the understanding of vanity. Vanity, vanity, saith the preacher. All is vanity. All to come is vanity. Hmm. More on that in the book of Ecclesiastes. 
Uh, verse number three, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord, and the fruit of the womb is his reward. As arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that hath his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. God bless you if you are called to start a family and have children. Um, perhaps most of us, that is our calling. Um, perhaps some of us, our calling is singleness. Um, that is biblical, and uh, Jesus never got married after all. Um, whatever the Lord's destiny for you, I pray that uh, whatever it is you're following Matthew 6 verse 33 through 35 I believe those are the verses where uh, seek first the kingdom of God in his right way and all these things will be added unto you and if he does add unto you many children then God bless you and may you bring them up in the right way that they should go may you start them early and uh, provide them goads along their path um, that they may uh, be in the good graces of the Lord um, a little praise report from me. Uh, I, I have one of the testimonies where I've always known that the Lord loved me. I, I've always been in the church ever since I was uh, a baby. Um, my family, all of them are believers. Praise the Lord. Thank you, God. Um, and um, I didn't have to go through a whole lot of crud, to say the least, to find my way to God. Although... Um, I have had my bouts of wandering in the wilderness, even though I have been a believer. Um, but it's made me stronger. It's built my endurance. And I praise God for that. And thank you for the storm. And Lord, may we lift our hands because you are who you are no matter where I am, no matter who I am. Thank you, Lord, for your word. <clears throat> Let us move on to the hymn of today. A hymn uh, for the church, the family of believers, called The Family of God, um, based off 2 Corinthians 6, verse 16 through 18. And God said, I will dwell in them, and they shall be my people, and ye shall be my sons and daughters. Uh, copyright 1970 by William J. Gaither, all rights reserved. Fair use. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood, joint heirs with Jesus as we travel this sod. For I'm part of the family, the family of God. You will notice we say brother and sister round here. It's because we're a family and these folks are so near. When one has a heartache, we all share the tears and rejoice in each victory in this family so dear. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood, joint heirs with Jesus as we travel this sod. For I'm part of the family, the family of God. From the door of an orphanage to the house of a king, no longer an outcast, a new song I sing. From rags unto riches, from the weak to the strong, I'm not worthy to be here, but praise God I belong. I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I've been washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood, joint heirs with Jesus as we travel this sod. For I'm part of the family, the family of God. Amen. Amen. And may your family be big. Um, there is no lone wolf Christians. 
Um, there is times for solitude and there is times for um, going away, but uh, we are part of the body. Christ is our head. And uh, we are more powerful together than alone. Um, not that you cannot be of use in being alone and in solitude. Um, and not that you cannot be of use uh, when in community. But we are strong as a family. And we should be meeting and gathering um, as such with our brothers and sisters. Amen. God bless you. Um, whoever you are. So Deo Gloria, Gloria in excelsis Deo, glory to God in the highest. Glory to God forever and ever in Jesus' holy, perfect, mighty name I pray. And in the dunamis power of the Holy Spirit, the same power that rose Jesus from the grave, I pray. Amen. Amen. And amen.